ManyChat just released a new feature that lets you pause all automations with just one single click. And in this video, I will show you exactly how to use it. So I will show you where you can find this feature in ManyChat, how you can use this together with the ManyChat live chat, and when you should and shouldn't use this feature in your ManyChat account. Let's dive in. So first, what does this new feature actually do? This new feature lets you pass all automations for one specific person in ManyChat. And this means that all automations, all rules, all sequences, they don't work. And you can let it pass for a specific time or you can let it pass forever until you unpause it yourself. And you can basically find this feature in three places in ManyChat. You can find it in the flow builder, in rules, and in the ManyChat live chat. So let me just show you how that works. So if we go to ManyChat, go to automation, and if we create a new automation here, then we can basically add an action and here add one and then click on automation and then select pass all automations, right? And then here you can select the amount of time. So you can select 30 minutes, one hour, three hours, six hours, 12 hours, one day or forever. So if you go with forever, then it's paused forever until you unpause it and you need to do that manually yourself basically. So that's basically how that works in the ManyChat flow builder. Then if you go to automation and go to rules, then here you can click a new rule. Then you can basically set it up so that when a certain trigger happens, like you can select one of these triggers here, then you can also go with pause automations, right? So this basically works similar as in the ManyChat flow builder, but just then from rules. And then lastly, we also have the live chat. So let's say you are you want to reply to someone manually, then here you can click on pause. And then again, you can go with 30 minutes, one hour, three hours, like however you were long. And you can also just pause it forever. Then basically have an ongoing conversation with this person. And then when you have basically replied to all of the questions that they are having, then you can basically unpause this again. So then you can just basically click here on resume automations and then everything is working. So that's basically the flow builder rules and live chat. The question now is, is when should you use this feature and when you shouldn't use this feature, right? So I've thought about this and I thought, okay, in live chat, when you are inside the live chat, you basically want to pass all automations when you are having a conversation with someone. So what I just showed you, like that you can pass all of these automations, like pass forever or like pass for six hours, like you want to always do that when you're having an ongoing conversation in live chat. So that's basically like the first use case, right? So that's like the first one. And then the second one is then when somebody asks a question that your automation doesn't cover and you send them to an, to an agent and you don't want automations to send anything in the meantime. So that's really important. Like that last phrase and you don't want to send automations to send anything in the meantime, that's really important. So let me give you kind of two examples of when I shouldn't use this and when I should use this, right? So let's say you have this automation. So here we basically automatically reply if someone says something with return policy, then we basically give the answer about our return policy. And then we say, did I answer your question? Yeah. And if they, if they say, no, I need help, then we say, no problem. We will now connect you to one of our support agents. In this case, I wouldn't pass all automations basically, because it could be that they have other questions. It could be that they still want to engage with other stuff in the bot, like that all st still could be happening, right? So in this case, I, I don't want to pass the automations. I just want to pass the automations when the agent or when you or someone on your team is going to handle this from the live chat. Like that's basically the moment when I would pass this automation. I wouldn't pass it right here, right? The other example that I have is when I actually would pass this automation, right? So here, I would just refresh this. This is another example. And here, this is basically... Uh, when someone has a question about an order, right? So let's say you're an e-commerce business and uh, someone has a question about an order. So they say, I have an order question. Then we basically say, okay, to help you with your order, I need some information. Then we say, okay, what is your email? And then we say, what is the order number of the order you have a question about? Just type in that in below. And then say, got it. We will now send this to one of our agents, right? And then we say, please type in any questions you have about your order as elaborate as possible. An agent will be with you as soon as possible. In this case, I would pass all of the automations. 
And the reason why I would do this is because now people will type in a lot of different questions that they have about the order. Like we don't know how many questions they have. So in this case, you, for example, cannot use a data collection element because it could be that they type in one thing and then another thing and then another thing and then another thing. And that might be triggering other automations that you have. So in this case, I would pause the automation so they can type in all the questions and all the history that they have about this order. And then an agent can basically look at that. And that's basically when I would use this feature uh, to pass all of the automations, right? So those are basically kind of the two kind of things. It's like in live chat and when somebody asks a question and you send them to an agent and you don't want to automations to send anything in the meantime, like anything in between. That's when I would use this feature, right? So that's basically the first use case. Then when to not use this feature, right? So I think the first reason is like, I wouldn't pause when it takes very long for a support agent to join the chat. And I had this with clients that basically had just many, many, many uh, chats that they still need to look at. And it took like two to three days until uh, a support agent could actually join the chat, right? In that case, I wouldn't pass the automations because it could be that someone asks a question and then one day later they come back and they ask another question, right? In that case, it could be that we automatically reply to that second question, but we still need to manually reply to the first question, right? So in that case, you don't want to pause it because if you pause it, we, we cannot automatically reply to the second question that they have, right? So if it takes very long for a support agent to join the chat, like that's when I wouldn't do that. And then exactly like what I said before, it's like with this return policy example, I also wouldn't do that because it might be that they have other questions as well, right? Then also I wouldn't pause it in marketing automations, right? So if anyone is inside a marketing automation, so when you're using ManyChat, for example, to deliver your eBooks or let people basically buy one of your products, I wouldn't pass any of the automations, right? So it, let me give you an example. So inside my ManyChat masterclass, I give away three funnels, right? And these are basically the funnels that I use for my own clients as well, right? So you get these in the ManyChat masterclass. And an example we have here is like in the sales generation funnel, we basically give away a free ebook, right? And then the first thing that we check inside the funnel is we check if they already got that ebook. If they already got the ebook before, then we basically say, it looks like you already downloaded my free guide. Do you want to download it again or do you have a question? And then if someone goes with, I have a question, then we say, no problem. What question do you have? Just type it in below. And then we say, thank you for sending it over. I just notified a team member and they will come back to you as soon as possible, right? So in that case, I wouldn't pass all of the automations because it could be that they sent this question and then they comment on one of your posts that triggers one of your other ManyChat automations usually. And then that doesn't work because you passed all of the automations. So in marketing automations, generally speaking, I wouldn't pass off the automation because it could be that people go with another automation, go with another funnel, want to take the next step, and then you already passed it and they basically cannot do that. Right. So that's basically when I shouldn't do it is like in most marketing automations, I wouldn't pass, um, pass like all of the automations basically. And that's how you can use the pass automations feature in many chat. But this is just the first step. The next step is to create a chatbot that automatically replies to questions and generate leads. So if you want to get started with that, please check out this video.